A lot of AEW stands tend to focus on the excellent in-ring product that has made the promotion a true alternative to the E. However, we here at Wrestling Behind the Themes headquarters like to solely spotlight the songs that establish your favorite superstars in a loud and proud way. But I'll be damned if we don't talk more about these all elite anthems. So join us now and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe as we take a special look behind the themes of AEW. Did you know that listening to this bop will help your mullet grow? But seriously, folks, the classic 80s GNR rock sound captured in City Lights is leading a radical and resurgent return of hair metal to pro wrestling. Now, making tag team wrestling great again has been a priority for AEW ever since the Young Bucks made it a point during the promotion's inaugural press conference. And they've stood by that mantra by signing veteran teams like the Lucha Bros, Santana and Ortiz, and FTR. However, one of the bucks of youth's hidden talents is creating young and up-and-coming teams like the Varsity Blondes, who are a throwback and a tribute wrapped into one. Pairing up indie darling and second-generation talent Brian Pillman Jr. with relative unknown but athletically gifted Griff Garrison, what the Blondes lack in experience, they make up for with their charismatic personalities, and they are destined to be a household name soon enough. Lance Archer is the out-of-control runaway train of professional wrestling who doesn't give a damn about anyone or anything in his way as he chugs along towards the squared circle. Once his entrance countdown Titantron explodes onto the screen, everyone knows that, well, everybody dies, which is not something we condone here at Wrestling Behind the Themes. But who are we to step up to and argue with the 6-foot, 8-inch, 275-pound murder hawk monster? Now really, this ain't a song for the brokenhearted, because while the first 25 seconds go hard, once the chorus hits, this banger sort of morphs into Bon Jovi's It's My Life, doesn't it? That isn't necessarily a bad thing. I'm just throwing it out there to see if I'm not the only one who hears the comparison between the two. And if I am, then so be it. Like Frankie said, I did it my way. Play it loud. Yeah, I will not allow anybody else to try and break me down. The entrance theme of AEW's resident chairman, Sean Spears, starts off with a bombastic buildup, immediately announcing the arrival of somebody important, which is quite fitting for the superstar who once rated himself the perfect 10. And then the beat drops, and you've got a hot hip-hop cadence peppered in with a simple heavy guitar riff. Perfection is the creation of rapper and former NXT employee Josiah Williams, who's made a name for himself thanks to his Wrestle and Flow brand and YouTube series where he remixed WWE entrance themes. Jay Will dropped some serious bars here and just goes off. But it seems like he's spending a majority of his days working at the most magical place on earth. Hopefully he continues writing and producing music because the man can seriously spit some flaming hot Central Florida fire. Let's talk about the future Mr. Charlotte Flair for a second, shall we? Andrade is a massively talented worker who will always be held back in the United States, unfortunately. His work thus far in AEW has felt somewhat unremarkable, and he is in desperate need of a mouthpiece who can speak English. But El Idolo still has an amazing look and a skill set that is impossible to ignore. Like when Andrade made his All Elite debut in June 2021 to Crickets, when he was introduced at Daily place in Jacksonville because there was no theme music playing to announce his arrival. One of the few missteps in the history of AEW, it still drives me loco and la cabeza to think back to this. But please don't kill the messenger because thankfully AEW's music producer Mikey Ruckus rallied the troops with this Mexican cartel creation that oozes machismo and the smooth Santana guitar vibes have us feeling tranquilo. Thank you. 
Even in his 50s, Dustin Rhodes is so naturally, naturally gifted as a wrestler that you could say it's quite bizarre. It also goes without saying that the artist formerly known as Goldust is one of the most respected veterans around who has invaluable insight to pass along to the younger generation of talent in AEW. But here's a hot take for you. As much as I want to hate on this entrance theme for coming ever so close to copying Green Day's Brain Stew, this song slaps and the strings throughout are too sweet. I guess it's only natural, natural to try and trash a Rhodes these days. But Dustin deserves better, especially since he can still go inside the squared circle, as evidenced by his matches over the past couple of years versus his brother Cody and Sammy Guevara. This is my moment to shine. This is my time for flight. I've been grinding forever just for this very night. I've been pushing for many moments like this. This time is undervalued. Speaking of the Spanish God, he might have the most punchable face that you'd never get tired of seeing reduced to a pulp. And his constant PDA with Ty Conti makes me want to puke. He's gotta puke! He's gotta puke! He's gotta puke! But his trap heat theme by independent wrestling songmaker Montezzi called Take Flight Straight Up Smacks. But for as much haterade that's thrown his way, there's a cool inspiring quality to this theme's beat and a blissful sound that makes this track seem as if it's been recorded in the clouds. The Titans lyrics also map out Guevara's journey to the national spotlight, where his ability to wow crowds with his new age video game-esque repertoire has made him one of the four pillars of AEW. Just get a room already, would ya? And speaking of haterade, don't be a lover, be a hater, because Jamie might just have the most banging theme music in AEW. It's also one of the most accurate pieces of British music I've ever heard a Brit wrestler have in the United States. Typically, you'll get a blue-blooded aristocrat theme or someone drenched in the Union Jack like Davy Boy Smith. But this music, along with her strut as she is walking down to the ring, is pretty badass. One of the most talented women on the AEW roster, her role as Britt Baker's bodyguard will undoubtedly lead to a split sometime down the road, but until creative gives her a meaningful push, she'll continue to be saddled with being the impressive but massively underrated wrestler that she's been since joining the company. If you're not a fanhausen of the new themehausen called the Danhausen Show, then you're most likely going to be cursed sometime very, very soon. A cauldron full of creepy carnival music, sprinkled with a little Lazy Town, a dash of Doctor Who, and mixed with the Monsters, AEW's musical maestro Mikey Ruckus continues his all-out assault on changing the wrestling entrance music game with this playful piece. Ruckus recently mentioned on Reddit that Danhausen is an attraction. Quote, he's like the ice cream truck when it hits your neighborhood, and you're the group of kids who have been outside playing baseball in the sun all day. End quote. However, while a large chunk of the wrestling world is aware of what an internet sensation Dan Housen is, there are still fans out there who aren't familiar with how nice and how evil he really is. Even if Dan Housen's shtick is not your cup of tea, Housen, you have to appreciate his commitment to the gimmick. 